Okay, hello everybody, this is Chioski here with another cast this time. It is going to be between me, the Red Terran, spawning in the bottom right of Lerilac Crests. Insert, delete, scroll in, bam, GSL level, man. And my opponent is going to be spawning in the top right. He's going to be a barcode player. Woo! Blue Protoss. Okay, so our opponent is going to be going for the gas and gateway, so gateway then gas, and then I'm also going to be going for barracks and gas. A very similar type of openings here. Opponent is going to be scouting very early. And let's just control shift F, little cute fact. If you could press control shift and F at the same time, it'll just auto follow the unit that you are currently selecting. You can switch between buildings and stuff, and then instead of having to like uh, double click on a number to center it, it'll just automatically center it towards that. And you, it, it locks the screen as well, so you can't really do too much. It looks like on the minimap, though, we do have an expansion going down for our opponent. Shouldn't have a second pylon, and he doesn't. I'm going to be probably saving up for the cyber core here. And he does. Then going to be getting the guys and gas. In the meantime, looks like I am going to be gearing up for my own expansion of myself here. And things are going to be getting underway. So... I've been experimenting with a... N oh, sorry, I hit my mic. <laughs> but I've been experimenting with a no reaper build. The reason I don't like reapers in TVP is just because the reaper most of the time doesn't get uh, very much information. I know that with the recent nerf to the adept, I think it actually takes three hits for an adept to kill a reaper instead of just the two it used to. And I think... Not sure about the photon overcharge, but looks like I do eventually scout my opponent. He does come into my base as well, and I do have a couple of marines spawn here. But I don't lift up the supply depot, so he's going to get a full scout out. Sees my two barracks follow up, and sees that I only have one guy in the gas. I took the guys off of gas because I wanted to get the extra barracks up as soon as I can. Going to just continue to be scouting out. I bring in my SCV here. And one shot, actually is this, oh yep, no, this is after the patch. Adepts now take three shots to kill that SCV, and because I was get, able to get a little bit closer into his base, I didn't see this Twilight Council though, but I'm not sure how I feel about Twilight Counselor, uh, Twilight Council openings after the nerf to the Adept. Regardless, it is probably still very strong. Adept's mobility was not changed at all, and that is one of their very strong points. He's going to be poking in here, and doesn't kill a marine. I have a couple of marines to defend my SCVs, but uh, he decides to not shade towards my mineral line. Going to be following up with a robotics facility as well, and actually getting blink doesn't go for the resonating glaives upgrade. I do have a sizable amount of marines here, so I decide to push out, I actually think I go back and since I'm getting concussive shell, I was like, oh, I should probably wait for a Marauder. Back in Heart of the Swarm, there was a very common push that Terran players used to do with a Marauder or possibly two with concussive shells and then just poking up the front. And with the nerf to the Adept and the um, Mothership Core, I figured that the um, Barracks push could possibly do well again, so I wanted to test it out. The build is a little bit off since you start out with more workers, obviously, and um, everything is just a little bit different. And again, I'm just constantly moving around with these marines until I get the marauder up. Once the marauder comes in, I think I move out with this attack. Our opponent is going for a war prism. Does he actually get an observer first? It does look like he has one coming directly for our natural expansion. Does he know about our natural? He does, so he feels pretty safe for the moment. Mothership Core has enough energy for three photon overcharges now, and these two pylons will protect the ramp so I can't run up, but it doesn't protect the mineral line back here. So the War Prism has just finished. He followed up with additional gateways as well. Going to be scouting out my natural expansion, but now you should see that there's really nothing here. I accidentally made a Reaper, and that's 50 gas down the drain. Pretty big mistake to be missing out on, or uh, misclicking like that. So I'm going to be running in here, getting a couple of probe kills right off the bat. He doesn't have too many units to defend here. Just the Mothership Core for the Photon Overcharge and a very small amount of Stalkers here. I'm going to be swinging behind his Mineral Line since I, there is not 
any pylons back here, going to be killing off some adepts, trying to focus down the mothership core, and I do get it, so he only gets two fun photon overcharges off, I do see the blink, and I'm pretty happy with the amount of damage we did, I'm also focusing down some probes here as well, and do we get this dogger? Nope, he's going to be blinking it just in the nick of time, so killed off nine workers for a lot of army units, and let's see, in terms of army, we are still doing pretty well, but he does have a lot of gateways here. How many gateways? Seven? That is a lot. Going to be warping in a few stalkers here at this pylon, and it doesn't look like this pylon is in range of the Nexus. Does have the observer still on top of my army, and I wanted to expand towards my third base here. I'm not sure how I feel about this follow-up. I just did a bunch of damage, so he's probably either going to be doing a counterattack or trying to macro up, and I did see the blink, so coming in with a huge attack is definitely a possibility. So possibly just throwing this third base in a more secure location like my natural expansion and then floating it to the third base would have been a safer choice for sure. And he is going to be blinking in here, gets the medevac, but I pick off a couple of stalkers here and going to continue to try and poke in these stalkers, get a couple more, but I don't think I'll be able to do too much more damage with these marines. Unfortunately, because he killed off that medevac, I don't have too um, much healing at my disposal. Going to be getting my combat shields, getting my plus one attack, he's going to be getting a couple of sentries. Actually, if you click on the sentries, I don't know where he warped at them, and there they are. In the meantime, I'm going to have my reaper since I did accidentally make it, I was like, oh, this is a good time to check his third base. I would imagine he would expand towards this location instead of this one since it'd be a little bit harder for him to defend. In the meantime, I'm going to be moving out with my army and I just wanted to go and attack him. But because I did this and I didn't uh, have anything to spot the rocks back here, I don't actually know about this and he cancels that and actually kills off one of the stalkers. So a bunch of my SCVs are going to be getting picked off, he's going to be blinking up into my main base and I decide to just go for it man. He warps in a bunch with the warp prism and not even going to really be blinking too much but I'm going to be base training him, I'm going to be attacking his nexus at the natural expansion. I see a couple of probes trying to run off and I know in a base trade if any of these little pesky probes get away then it's going to be a headache for me just trying to find out or find all of his buildings so I try and do my best oh uh, to kill off any probes I mean kill off any probes <laughs> but I'm going to be running a bunch of my SCVs away here trying to float my base away just to make it as annoying for him as possible. I'm going to be lifting this base up, possibly moving it. I actually don't know where I moved this one. And let's see, do are any more of his probes out on the map? Oh, he hides one back here. I don't think I know about this one. And I'm going to be focusing down his nexus in the main base and also this robot robotics facility. I'm going to be killing off the gateways and just uh, slowly poking things. He has a few stalkers here, but he can't really uh, do too much with this. I'm running low on energy, so I need to be careful when I stem, but he does come up here. I'm going to be landing a Widow Mine, and he doesn't... Oh, going to be getting a Widow Mine shot off on that Warp Prism. Focusing down some gateways here, and he's going to try and do some defense. I'm going to be stemming up and killing whatever I can here, and does he have enough to kill off my army? Wow, it does look like the Blink Stalker Micro is going to be enough, and actually, I'm I'm out of I'm out of army. He has a lot of army compared to me, but we have bases, so <laughs> we have mules and the power of mules, man. So I'm going to be repairing my main base, I'm going to be rebuilding some of the barracks, and since we still have these add-ons in the main base, this is going to be a key point of defense. Also, going to be starting a bunker in the main base, and he immediately starts coming back to my natural expansion, going to be starting to pick things off. I don't actually know why I threw down the mules right here. This was just a waste of energy. Should have really thrown it back here at least since uh, this space is going to be defended. This was a really, really bad decision making. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I could repair it a little bit, but there are just so many stalkers, this thing is going to die. Rip. We do have a couple of widow mines here, and actually, does he have detection? 
units. He does not actually have detection, so he's just going to have to blink away from these, but he blinks up into the main base, going to be getting directly on top of that bunker, and because of it, going to be losing a couple of stalkers here. Going to be attack moving with my mules, because mules do amazing damage versus stalkers. And going to be proceeding to lose all my production facilities. So again, we have a couple more bases. I hid one up here when I did throw all my SCVs or run my SCVs away, I should say. And this base is pretty much dead, so rip base. I do have some income though compared to our opponent. We have 1,200, and I do have a widow mine here. And since he's still being revealed, I'm like, okay, as long as I can secure a couple of bases, get some good defenses up, and especially getting this factory up, I knew this was a big uh, key factor. And this one accidental reaper that I made is going to be doing some work, going to be working on this assimilator here. And he places an assimilator in this base, probably just to do some, um, what's it called? Um, building spread, so it'll be harder for me to possibly eliminate him from the game. But because he sees my hidden base up here, he's like, oh, okay. And I'm like, oh, okay, I better build a bunch of bunkers for my marines that are eventually going to be coming out. He knows the base is up here and he is going to be coming directly for it. I'm going to be continuing to attack with this Reaper. Go little Reaper, go! But the scary part is this Stalker army that's coming directly into my main base. Or my new main base. I'm going to be loading up some Marines into this bunker and it looks like he is going to just be focused firing it down. Repair it! Repair it! Bro, the widow mine! Oh my god. And we're running low on units. Get into the bunker! Get into the bunker! We get into one of the bunkers Come on, repair! Send some SCVs to repair! And I decide not to, and this Blink Micro is just going to be enough to pick off this bunker. I'm going to be bringing more SCVs and attack moving with everything. I'm going to be getting some more Marines out. It looks like I might have killed a Stalker. Possibly. But in the meantime, it's like, well, this base is pretty much dead as well. Blink back. Blinks the weak ones back in because of it. Can't really do too much. I'm going to be blinking directly on top of this Widow Mine right as it spawns as well going to be trying to um, kill off something or attack something with these marines. So I probably should be rallying directly on top of like one of the stalkers and I think if I do that it'll start auto attacking. But instead I rally to this little corner and because of it all the marines that uh, spawn run a little bit and then start attacking. So little mistakes and this widow mine. Oh and now he's going to focus it down. Great micro. This reaper is still doing damage by the way and we still have another base. So I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> try, try again. Since we can't, we didn't defend that base, we'll try and defend this base, start some more um, barracks. And these were widow mines actually from my main base that I had over here that killed a couple of stalkers when they blinked up into my main. And he is just going to be continuing to try and scout out bases. I, ax or I added another hidden base down in this corner as well. Just spreading out my buildings since he's going to be frantically trying to pick off all of the bases that I have. And I should be repositioning these Widow Mines because I, the thing that I need to protect is my SCV line, not necessarily my, um, my barracks here. But then again, the barracks are also very important. Widow Mine going to be picking off something. So I, I actually don't think I knew what I picked off, but... I knew that the Widow Mine activated, I'm like, oh, okay, he must know that I'm here. So, I'm going to be repositioning all the Widow Mines towards the bunker and moving some of them to defend the mineral line so he can't just blink behind here with these stalkers. Or at least blink back here very easily. And here comes the stalkers, and this time I, ax I actually brought SCVs to repair. And with the bunker closer to the mineral line, the SCVs can get back to work a lot faster. So very happy with this, picking off a couple of stalkers, and I have another bunker back here as well, going to be stimming up, killing the stalkers, we gotta fuck you from our opponent, and GG. <laughs> so, uh, that was a game where I did a lot of damage in the early game, but the follow up and the decision making after it could have been a little bit better. Like the bunker up here could have been repaired a lot earlier. I mean, the...
bunkers up here could have been repaired also. The rally point for these marines could have been a lot better. So there's so much room for improvement in this game. It's ridiculously amazing. And that's what makes it so great. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. And hopefully I'll have something else to cast this. I'm running out of replays, but we'll find something. Thanks for watching as always. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys tomorrow.